It's Offside with Hawes and McGuire. Okay, I didn't... What the hell? I know, I'm not drinking. What do you mean? I, well, I kind of... I'm, I'm on a, a, br- a brief hiatus. Oh. Okay. Wow, this no. is a pure coincidence. It is, it is. By the way, when the hell is Molson going to sponsor us? They can sponsor our... Come hockey. on, Wainer. Okay. So listen, we're here to discuss our uh, Offside with Hans McGuire. Hey! Oh yeah, by the way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lechheim. Oh. Okay. Offside with Hans McGuire. Okay. And for those of you who don't know us, I'm Hans. I'm McGuire. Okay. So we have our hockey pool. That's why we're here. This is the first episode of the 24-25 season, really. Right. Okay. But yeah. what we're doing here is to flog our hockey pool yep. and get people uh, interested in... Trip of a lifetime, let's call it what it is. Well, here's the thing. Trip of it's, a lifetime. It, well, for maybe for them, but for us, we are already going on the trip of a lifetime. I know. This year, for yeah. the last year's winner of the like, hockey in, in a month. Yeah, in a month. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually the second trip of a lifetime for us. But True. But it is the trip of a lifetime for the new winner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the hockey pool. And a lot of guys, you know, I, and one of the reasons why I wanted to have this is because... Um, People go, oh, I, I misunderstood the instructions. I didn't know how it worked because they, because they, it's a little bit unique because it's not just okay, you know, pick, uh, you know, and I'm dating myself. Pick Brett Hall for goals. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, or Gretzky's. Yeah, for goals. Exactly. yeah those it's, are. It's not that. It's you've got to pick. So some of the things that. Well, you have a salary cap, and that's we pretty have a unique. salary cap. Which you have adds, penalty minutes involved. Oh wait, there's more this year. Oh. Oh, I've made it fucking awesome. Okay. Okay. And let me just put that down. So, you know, some of the criticisms is, oh, yeah, well, I have this guy, and, and you know what I mean? He's a defense, whatever, you know, he's a defenseman. You know what I mean? I, I wish I could get more points with my defenseman. I said, well, funny you ask. So this year, okay, blocked shots are, are a stat. Oh, okay. my God. Wow. All right? Blocked shots are a stat. Want to hear what else you're going to I'll think? take Al Arbor and Gary Doak, please. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I told you, Al Arbor was my first boss. Was he? Yeah. You uh, may have told me that at some point. Uh, him and Stu Duncan up at Sports Unlimited in Sudbury. Um, anyway. Um, and, and Gary Doak played with Bobby Orr. How can yeah, you get sure better did. life than that? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to like this one. Another stat? Yeah. Hits. 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 Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. So, so we got hits. We got, so we, first of all, the salary cap. Start. Yeah. And I'm going to put this on like a, like a video, like, so we should see what it is. Okay. So the salary cap is $88 million this year. Okay. Okay. That's $8 million more than last year. Big jump. That's, it is a big jump. Yeah. It is. And it's quite handy. Yeah. So the first thing is that <laughs> every guy gets to pick uh, 12 forwards and uh, six defense. Well, that's okay. regular NHL. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so minus the goalies, of course. You know. Minus yeah. the goalies. And yeah. we're not doing the goalie thing yeah. because yeah. that's just, you know, gay. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So, obviously, goals scored. Yeah. Worth a single point. Like, you, get a, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Assists worth a sing- single point. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, now, we've got here, we have we got the hits, the block shots. Where have I added this here? The hits and the block shots. Yeah. Are worth half a point. So one hit is okay. half a point. Yep. Okay, so you gotta you gotta hit two guys to get a full point. All right. Okay. Block shots, the same thing. Fights. You got the fights. Yeah. Okay. So that's worth a point. Well, a fight is worth a point. A fight's worth a point. Okay. Penalty <clears throat> minutes. Yeah. Are worth half a point. So do you have fights specific fights last year or just penalty minutes? No, no, we had both. We did. Eh? But, okay. So I but how it works? So this is where people if you get in a fight, it's worth a point. Right. However, you are, have five penalty minutes within that. Oh, yeah, right. So you yeah, actually course, get yeah. 2.5 points okay. on top of that. Yeah. So you're actually 3.5 points for a fight. Yeah. Okay, at yeah. the end of the day. But a tripping penalty is a half a point per minute. Per penalty any, minute. Any, so it's any, one point. Any yeah. penalty Any two-minute penalty yeah. is worth a point. It's worth a point. A point. Okay. That's right. Two-minute yeah, penalty. So 100 penalty PIMS is 50 points. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So... Um, and uh, now the other thing I've added this year, because people said, oh, you know what I hate? And I, and I said, well, well, what's that? And they said, well, it's funny you ask. They hated the fact that they go through the whole game and then the overtime goals 
Okay. Yeah. We're not counting towards that. We didn't really pay yeah. a lot of attention last year, to be honest, with everything going on with my mother, which is still happening. It's just so time consuming. So I didn't really pour right. my heart. And plus, we were taping the shows. We had the, the Florida trip and everything else. So what you're saying is you left it all to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I left the infrastructure of it to you. Yeah. That's for sure. Okay. 100%. Yeah, I had nothing to do with that at all. Pretty much like the Ireland trip, which is why all your friends are going. That is true. <laughs> And we're going to the north yeah. again. <laughs> well, listen, there's, we're going to the north and part of the Republic. Like, don't get me wrong. We're going to Donegal, which is in the Republic. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in the it, north. It Why would you is, want yeah. to go someplace where they're like, here's the thing. I'm not saying that we, we won't ever go to the south of Ireland. Yeah. But there's way more great, much better golf courses in the north. No, okay. there's not. In the north. Of, oh, absolutely. But absolutely we're, not. We're, but we're anyway, really, that's... Okay, a, well, so you tell me the, the top... <laughs> Top five golf courses. Valley Bunyan, Old Head, Dune Beg, uh, for starters. Okay, that's three. So yeah. then I, I, well, Valley Bunyan, put, both put, old I'll, and new, so okay. there's four. So, no, 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 but yeah. okay, we'll talk location, but let's talk yeah. about, okay, Royal County down. Uh, Tralee. Port Rush, Port Rush, Port Stewart. Then you yeah. have Donegal, you got Ross and Penna, you got yeah. Valley Liffin. Yeah. Trust me, there's... A, I would put only Royal County down and Port Rush ahead of Old Head. Personally. Well, no, hey, listen, I love Old Head. I yeah. love that, okay? Yeah. But that's one out of all. The other ones are all, you, you know, you can alternate. Old yeah. Head, in my opinion, is my favorite course, mm -hmm. okay? Probably that I've ever played. Well, but It is my favorite too, coincidentally, but, so. But the problem is, is it's, uh, you know, $500. Oh, day. yeah. Oh, no, well, listen. Like, uh, know, I mean, like, or more now. Yeah, it's actually yeah. more. Yeah. And, and with this year with the Open? Yeah. Okay. Everything has gone up in price, yeah. right? So, yeah. uh, okay. So that's the hockey pool. Now, I'm also going to tell you about the tr the trip of, of what you win, though. You yeah. Hear about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Whoops! You Sorry, dropped just, your. I dropped that. You dropped your okay. water. Yeah, I dropped my water and my microphone. I mean, just we'll have to. I'll be editing this. Um, the other thing is, um, you, you didn't ask me about my face. Well, I never you noticed you it. Oh, you didn't. Oh, no. You got to ask me about it. Okay. Right. What happened to your face, Chris? Yeah, well, Try that again. Like, <laughs> you're the worst actor. It's like unbelievable. Ian McGuire, the, like you're never, you know, at least there's not, you're not even going to be in your own movie. That's the problem. Okay? Oh, the, the I'd, be an, story, I'd be a good extra. You know, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> be an well, extra. I'd be a good, ex. uh, be a good extra. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, so, okay. So, so go ask me after what happened to my face. Chris, what happened to your face? I took a stick in the oh, face. Oh, I took oh. a stick in the face. Oh, no. Yeah, it's uh, not even in hockey. I told Chris I wanted to buy a new car. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got, I missed, like, literally in the face. And my, I couldn't move my jaw okay. for, like, four days. I thought I had dislocated it. And maybe it did. But luckily, I worked it out. Yeah. <laughs> it looks okay now. Yeah, it seems to be working. <laughs> Uh, but there was a time there. Oh, no, you didn't go for x-rays or anything, though. No, no, no. no that, that, are you kidding? Our medical system? Yeah, it's true. I've seen it enough as yeah. well. I Dealing don't... with that right now, too. It's a, boy, yeah. poor buggers, eh? COVID just kicked what the crap out of it. It's not here. No. <laughs> it's right here. Where is it? It's oh, right here the whole right, time. Okay, well, okay. as long yeah. as it's, uh, you know, I, I oh, yeah. want to make sure that they can hear you. Well. You know, the few, the few words that you get in. Yeah, I know. Fighting, fighting for oxygen here, yeah. folks. So, you never thought Liam McGuire would be the one who was less talkative. Okay, um, okay. so ask me about the, 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 well, let's talk about the one that we're going on. Okay. Okay. So, All right. in, in a month. Oh, yes. In September 29th. Yeah. 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 Oh, you're asking. Oh, you oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> Good, I'm sorry to find folks, oh I'll tell God. you. Oh my God, it's like, you know. It just, Chris, tell us about the one we're going on. Oh, it's funny you ask me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, uh, it's going to be great. So, first of all, we're flying into yeah. uh, Dublin. Right? Yeah. Okay, now some of us are coming a day <clears throat> early just because we want to be acclimatized and go down and party different places. Okay? Yeah. And you're visiting family. I am. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, but we're, we're going to all meet. Okay, we got to pick up guys we're gonna, at the airport. And we're going directly to C Point, which okay. is in Droida. Okay? And we're playing C Point. We have the whole course to ourselves. Did I tell you this? 
I think you mentioned it yeah. way back, and I just so, had forgotten so about they, it. But. So we're getting there. Oh, they're now. getting. They're doing renovations. That's and, right. And you yeah, arranged for us to. And I. So I. So they are coming behind us. So we're going to go off our foursomes. Yeah. Okay. And and then they're going to be doing their their work behind us. Incredible. So we'll finish the the round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you know what? All that took a couple of bottles. That was it. You, well, you, you are in Ireland. <laughs> well, hey. So, so, anyways, we're playing that. Then we're uh, by, by a luxury uh, coach liner. And notice yeah. I said coach liner, almost like an airliner. Yeah. Because that's how upscale this fucking trip is. Yeah. Okay. So, by luxury coach liner, we are headed to, uh, to Belfast, which is my favorite place and city in Ireland. Okay. And uh, and then we're gonna do lots. We're gonna do some of the touristy things. Yep. But we're gonna do some pub crawls, and I'll show you all my favorite pubs. Yeah. And uh, we're doing that. And then we're gonna be playing some golf. Right. Mm -hmm. We're playing the Royal Belfast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we are playing um, Scrabo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is also there. And we are playing uh, then. Then we'll, and we're doing like like the Titanic, and we're doing mm -hmm. a political tour, mm -hmm. and we're hanging out at the Felons. Mm -hmm. um, which, uh, just by the name, people who are members of the felons uh, have been felons. Yes. Okay. As part of a part of the political political process. Yeah. Back the, the political day. landscape is a big part yeah. of the history. Let's be yeah. honest. So. And and so we're going there. Glad as, we're sort of, you know. Well, yeah. It's, skating into that a little bit. Yeah. We're, a hockey we're, gonna, term. we're we're gliding into it uh, as complete. Um, like we we don't have a, a dog in that fight, right? Yeah. So I mean, we're we were go, we're going in there. We're going to learn. We're going to understand the, both sides of the situation. But at the end of the day, uh, we have no opinions, and that's just the best way to stay alive. Well, uh, I have opinions. I know, I, and I have opinions too. I have. I guess I them. did have dogs in the fight, but you know, yeah. But we don't have dogs in that fight anymore. Well, I we're mean, there. you know, we'll see how the conversations go. See what oh, happens. Oh Jesus! I, you know what? Here's the thing. I'm too old. Too old. Just We're follow my lead. No, and this is the problem: is you lead with your left. Okay, <laughs> you know that's that's the. What's issue. the worst that can happen? Yeah. Oh, they, okay, okay, we'll get killed. I guess. I yeah, that's, yeah, that's that probably is, not that a good thing. We need to come home. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah that's we anyways. Then we're heading up north. Okay. Yeah. To yeah. Uh, to Port Rush. Yeah. We're playing Port Stewart, which mm -hmm. you will love. Yep. Port Stewart, Port yep. Strand. Ha okay. Yep. I haven't played uh, it, but heard all about it. Great Cast track. Castle Rock, which is yep. another one of my favorites. Another top end course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we're having a party and coming home. That's basically the, the trip. That's yep. this one. Yeah. Next year's trip. Yeah. May. Okay. Yep. We are uh, uh, going to Dublin, flying mm -hmm. into Dublin. Mm -hmm. We're going to play a course uh, card called uh, Corballis, mm -hmm. uh, just outside of Dublin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is a, a, a gorgeous little Lynx course, um, and it's it's fairly old, but it, it is. And when I say old, I mean established. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's beautiful right along the coast. Like every, literally, every hole is freaking breathtaking. Okay, then we're gonna go. We're gonna stay at the same hotel, luxury hotel, the Ten Square Hotel in Belfast. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're playing uh, Royal County Down. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the uh, the Lynx course, not the championship course. So the Lynx mm -hmm. course goes through the <coughs> championship course. Same views, same freaking groundskeeper, same everything. Yep. It's just it's a it's a it's a little shorter, a lot easier for us to be honest with you. Yeah. Because having played uh, Royal County Down, the championship course, you know what? You, you unless you're hitting from the advanced tees, mm -hmm. you're not making you're not making some of those drives. Like you got to clear two sixty in the air to make some of those drives on the championship course. And that doesn't happen for most average golfers. I don't forget what tees we played, obviously, but we- Probably, we, probably the women's. We, uh, well, it wouldn't have been the women with 16 guys in read of you. <laughs> but we didn't, we didn't play the championship tees, but no, we, no, pl we, we played play. tees where we could, you know, we, we, yeah. we, all, we all hit, you know, 240. So, right. you yeah. know, so it's, it's, we, we were able to get where we needed to go, but it was phenomenal. It was. Yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. Anyway, so it's gorgeous views, all that. Then we're going to hit Scrabo again because I mm -hmm. love Scrabo. It's a lovely, hilly little... You need to be a mountain goat to play there, but yeah. it's awesome. Okay. Um, uh, and then we're going to zip all the way to uh, western 
Northern Ireland. Yep. Okay. And we're going to stay at the number one luxury resort in all of Ireland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where Obama stayed and they did the G7 summit and everything. Okay. At Loch Earn. And they've got a Faldo course there that is just spectacular. Awesome. Okay. And then we're going to go and do uh, Sligo. Yeah. Okay. That is a famous course, by the way. It's one of the top courses there. And we're going to do Donegal, which is also uh, Merva. Uh, it's a, another top course. Right. Um, and then uh, that's, let me just try to think, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's it. So that's okay. seven courses in uh, 10 days. Ah, that's excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, so, that's good scheduling. Good it scheduling. Is. And yeah. so we're, we're selling. We want people to come along. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, with that. Yep. We're selling those those packages as well. Yep. Okay. And you can come from anywhere because you're going to take care of your flight. Yeah. Because the one thing I learned on this yeah. past year's trip is yeah. that, well, this guy wants to use his points and this guy wants to do something sure. else. So it's yeah. like, you know what? Here's what we're doing. Right. Yeah. You guys all meet. We'll meet you in Dublin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's the best way to do You've it. You've made that pretty clear. 29th, this time, this place, be there. Exactly. Yeah. Or, or B square. Now or B square. Or B square. Yeah. Okay. So before we end, this is the, that's the basically the end. This we've, yep. we've promoted this. We've done a thing. I yep. did, and I'm showing a video. There's going to be like there's yep. some music and stuff in that and everything. Yep. Okay. Uh, do you have anything you want to say about uh, this coming season for uh, Offside with Hawk McGuire? Just um, can't wait. As I, it's always the same for me. This is an exciting time of the year. Camps are going to open in a couple weeks. Rookies report. Main camps follow. And exhibition games get her going. Uh, we'll be in Ireland, I think, when the season starts. Starts. Yeah. Just starts. So we'll come back and uh, every, everybody will be, uh, teams will be all set and everything. I think all Canadian teams, Edmonton uh, lost two guys on a very unusual uh, offer sheet uh, combo. You, you, you know, you yeah. almost never see one. You certainly have never seen the same team offer two. I'm pretty sure Doug Armstrong was just anticipating getting one of the two. He ends up with two real quality guys who had good playoffs and, yeah. you know, for that Edmonton team that went to the final. But, uh, Edmonton should be uh, a four still. I think I Vancouver feel bad will for be. Cody Ceci. Yeah, yeah. I, do. I, do. I feel yeah. bad because he was a part of um, a great yeah. opportunity. And now, I don't know if you know the team he went to. Yeah. Right? Uh, they're not doing so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well,. You know, sadly, there's some teams that have kind of languished uh, in, 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 the, in the last few years, as we well know. 
uh, San Jose, Columbus, and some of your bottom feeders there the last few years have really struggled. Uh, we'll say this about Greer and the Sharks and picking up Askarov and obviously the first pick. I mean, you've got making some noise, albeit incrementally, and I don't know what the hell Donnie Waddell is doing in Columbus. Uh, I mean, his hands were tied in a Line A trade, and he'll have fans, myself included, very excited to see Line A in camp, see what he can do. Toronto switch captains. Yeah. You know, took the sea off Johnny T. That was inevitable, I think. Probably. I mean, I'm assuming it was. It wasn't something I was thinking about this summer necessarily. Hey, take the sea off Johnny. Were you thinking that? Uh, Well, I mean, I don't, I I think it's a good move. It's it's not precedent setting by any means. No, no. But uh, anyway, you throw it on Austin. It's the right call. I mean, it came with a brand new pair of earrings. So Austin was really happy. And, and, uh, (laughs) you know, I mean, it's, uh, they're, they're a playoff team all day. They'll back in. To the playoffs. It's just they've got no. So what will they do in the playoffs? They've got no ba- bearing. They've got no like internal makeup of that club that could get beyond uh, you know a second round for sure. They 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 should have beat Boston last year. They didn't. Lost the overtime game seven. It's a coin flip. But but uh, anyway, Toronto will still be a force. Ottawa, you know, banking on a full season with Pinto. Obviously, new goaltending. Goaltending Corpy cost them 10, 12 points last year. Uh, full season with Pinto, Norris's shoulder. Who knows? I mean, they got to make up 17 points. Well, actually, 91. They got to make up 13 points. They could do it. Yeah. They they could do it. Goaltending alone could do that for them. So Winnipeg, you know, kind of in a transitional stage there. Calgary as well. I mean, some good pieces. I don't know if they're both either one are ready to. I mean, Winnipeg looks like they're maybe coming down, and Calgary looks like they're trying to come up and. And, uh, but I think they're both sort of in a state of limbo. We'll have to see what the final makeup of the rosters are. And, and you know, as I said about Montreal, just uh, tremendous excitement. I mean, improved by 21 points last three years. Uh, picking up line eight, Demidoff in the draft was, um, I think, a great selection. Not going to see him this year. Full season of Rhinebacker, we'll see what he does. But uh, exciting times in Montreal. So there's a Canadian team yeah. layout. And I uh, can't wait, Chris. Should be great. So what do you think of the new Utah hockey club uh, well, their prospects i mean they, you know, they were they were obviously the, the worst team in the league last year. yeah yeah okay and 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 they moved up there now a friend of mine says grabbed that, a ginless son that's a nice start but right, i mean yeah. he, he i mean ty looks like the real deal but i mean you're not he's not a, he's, he does, he's not a generational player you're not right. certainly putting superman's cape on him but i mean well, yeah but neither was a ginla but a ginla is a was a leader who could make things happen he was but you know he wasn't even part of the flames he came over you know in the new and dyke deal and 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 then you know his career started in calgary as we know but i mean he wasn't even thought of that but you're right look what he became yeah he and and his, who, who says his son couldn't be but you know it's just so Apparently you freaking said. No, I said he can be, but oh, he's not he generational. I, I, I mean, I don't think you would say that Jerome was, uh, was generational. But, no. I mean, at the end of the day, they didn't get a cup, right? I mean, who knows? I mean, uh, everyone thinks Jelena's goal was in, so do I. So, you know, 2004, well, like, uh, they got so ripped off. Oh, it was obvious. Well, it looked it obvious. Be- it was before the, the, the video review. No, was well, it was the, before the review as it is today. Yeah. yeah, as it is today. That may have been overturned. It's hard to say. But, I mean, Jerome was all world, no doubt about it. And his son certainly could be. But, I mean, look, they're, they're you know, they're Phoenix, Utah. <laughs> you know, it's hard to, what are you going to do? I mean, uh, it's a bit of a drive. You know, yeah, a little bit of a drive. Yeah, I don't yeah. think they're going to transition a lot of season ticket holders. Yeah. So, well, and, and the fact that they have... always excited to have a new franchise. The fa- fact that they have no name actually quite bothers me. Does it bother you? It does. It bothers yeah? me. Because, like, you know what? You need to have a moniker. Yeah. Like, it's not like... This is soccer, right? Yeah. You can't say yeah. we're, you know, uh, I mean, even fucking Man United, right? Like, I mean, that's that's the team. You know, it's United. It's yeah. a brand to it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you know, but you've got, uh, you know, well, okay, we got like, you know, store bought in FC. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know what? That's wonderful. Like you're whatever it is. I don't like the HC part of this whole thing. It to me, it doesn't seem right. They could have picked. A billion names, even for the short term. You know what? Is anyone losing any sleep over it? I, I, I just don't think so. I mean, it's going to cost them in marketing. There's yeah. no doubt. I mean, I, I think somehow I, I, there's, and, and, you know, un, undeniably, it's going to cost them in, in terms of marketing. They don't have that official moniker. It's a whole different scheme yeah. when you have to try and market that. So it, other than that, though, and because of who they are, who they were, where they're located and everything else. I, I, I mean, they're just, for us anyway here, I mean, they're, they're so off the radar for me even personally. Until yeah. they get playing, we'll see what they look like. And 
they're going to try and put a club together and we'll see we'll 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 see what happens i mean yeah. you know you're bringing over a great coach i mean the guys the, the, the he's unbelievable i, I you know a huge who's fan. that well Tournier. oh yeah well, he was... he's come over yeah yeah okay so you know, so so I mean, it's it's. But it's, the, the whole team's come over. It's not like. Yeah, a, yeah, no, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, you still got you know, yeah, like, yeah. you got you got a top drawer coach. You just haven't had the horses. Even still, if you look at last year, they had a run of games there, you know, where they <clears> where <throat> they made a little bit of noise. Like they they actually strung together some W's and 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 uh, you know that's probably who knows teams are taking you know coming in there saying look who we're playing or whatever you know. Well, but maybe or. The fact that, I mean, and, and you know the way this is. I mean, once you get down on yourself and you go in there, you, you're basically your give a shit factor, okay? Yeah. Go, goes way down. Well, yeah. Right? And so yeah. you got guys going, ah, fuck it. You know what? I'm just here. Listen, I got, I got a. Well, this has been the. I got an 11 o'clock tea time, right? Yeah. Okay. So they play golf, they pract- practice, play golf. They got the day off. They go home, see their kids. Come back, do a practice, go to play golf, yeah. you know, have a nap. It's a different life when you don't give a shit. I, I always said, Chris, I've said many times, I equate hockey to the double Ferris wheel. I use a double Ferris wheel analogy. You look at San Jose. They went to the final in 2016. That's eight years yeah. ago. They've been on a downward slide. So they've been on top of the Ferris wheel, and they've gone all the way down. You know, sometimes the double, you don't go all the way down. You, 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 you stay on the top loop right. and you, you, you rebuild right away. You look at Columbus when they, when they swept Tampa right. just a few short years ago and they've been on the slide yeah. since then. That was kind of a pinnacle of, of really of their franchise, really, to right. be honest, well, yeah, right? I mean, and, sure. and so they've gone down as well. But other teams that have you know could it could be toronto you wouldn't necessarily maybe say ottawa have missed the playoffs seven years in a row but right. the sabers who have stayed on the bottom missed the playoffs 12 years in a row detroit now a bunch of years in a row it's they look like they're coming new jersey were coming speed bump come back ottawa were coming didn't make the playoffs. speed bump come back like so you go down on on the double ferris wheel you want to stay on that top loop and hopefully rebuild and and be able to come back up i mean it's just it's just um it's tough man yeah. Oh, no, it's it tough. is. And you know what's really hard? Understanding your double Ferris wheel. So, <laughs> if there's another analogy that anybody has an idea about, like, let's figure that out. I get what I probably saying. didn't expect explain okay. that as clearly yeah. as I have in the past. But, you know, I, I, right. you know what, I'm sure. If I'm you're sure. coming to the trip in Ireland, I'll explain it on the bus. That's right. Yeah, exactly. That's what we'll be talking about on the bus. Uh, Basically, gl- San Jose gl- have gone down from the top in 2016, and they're yeah. they're they're on the bottom yeah. Ferris wheel that's spinning down here. Even though it's a double Ferris wheel, they've never made it back up. Columbus were briefly up; they have come down to the bottom as well. Whereas other teams like New Jersey yeah. have have kind of stayed in that in that top Ferris right. wheel. So their rebuilds, whatever you call it, coaching, call it management, call it drafting, call it all of the factors that go into making it. Just don't call it late for dinner. That's right. Don't just don't call it missing last call. Okay. Yeah, I forgot who I was talking to. Yeah. All right. Well, this is empty. Is that on? Yeah. yeah. Let's see, that's the end of the episode. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. We're doing this. So get your tickets in, not your tickets, your, your entries in. <laughs> your entries in for our hockey pool. It's $40. You know $40? You go to the pub, you yep. order, order wings yep. with fries yep. and a pint yep. and a tip. It's forty dollars. Yeah, pretty much these right? days. Yeah. So I'm yeah. at we're, we're, what we're saying is that for forty dollars, and that includes HS, HST, right? Because yeah. the government has to take their cut. Right? Important. Okay? Yeah. And that goes towards the trips. Second prize, okay, yeah. or first prize if we don't get enough people. Right. Okay, is a golf trip to Prince Edward Island. Right. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Could Even turn also, into our de facto. It could turn into the de facto. We, we if, need if, 250 competitors, correct? Yeah, 250 entrants in yep. there. Yeah. Okay. That makes that work. Yeah. Okay. And if it doesn't, then it drops down to the PEI. But if we do make the 250, we get the Ireland trip yep. and the PEI trip. Oh, okay. Okay. Because the, the goal is that we're going to have a sponsor for, right. for all this as well, right? So, right. So we have that. So third prize, third prize is a... Um, a week in Sudbury. Okay, it's actually only one night, but it'll feel like a week. <laughs> Are you gonna go along and oh, chaperone? And... I'll go along. I'll take a yeah. minute tour. That was good. So, yeah. Yeah, so, I know. I'd I'd like to go. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what? Sudbury's a great town. It is. It, I've been. I've know, been. I've I, always yeah. had a good time there. I've always is. had a good time. Well, you can't have a bad time. I, I mean, I've been there for mm-hmm. work. You know, I've been there doing gigs, so it's different. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, still, uh, the night's full of uh, fun and frivolity. Yeah, but it doesn't uh-huh. have to be. There's a lot of people who go home and read a book. Really? Yeah. Do you know set well, it's got a, a lot of very. I heard that people. once yeah. that people do that. Yeah. I just can't believe it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a, not you nor I really, but you know, there are folks who do that. And well, God love them. You know, the world needs ditch diggers too. We need book readers. <laughs> Go read your fucking book. Book readers, book, book readers and ditch diggers. That's All right. right. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? On that note, we're gonna say goodbye. All right. All right. So this has been Offside with Haas and McGuire. I'm Haas. I'm McGuire. Giddy.